So one, uh, one thing before I do my last poem, that I'm starting to learn a little bit better about this spoken word poetry um, performance is it's a great way to, to attack personal issues. And if you can tie in a larger issue, um, like there, there's no slam in Everett, I understand that. But the slam community at large uh, is at its best when it speaks to a larger issue in society from a personal point of view. Um, I got the opportunity to, to be around some of the best in the world um, as a volunteer this last fall at IWIPS, which is the individual World Poetry Slam, and uh, had a blast, learned a ton, and this poem was born out of it. An open letter to the LBGTQ community. I'm done. Shot right out of a cannon. I've got nothing left. That's a lie, but I am, I am done with bigotry, misunderstanding turned discontent, anger. Furiousness better spent writing. Let's have a conversation. Maybe I can help you. First, let me learn from you this thirst for knowledge unlocked while sitting in a room full of poets bent on changing the world starting with each other. I say myself is most accessible for recalibration. Been working in that direction for years. I will never be able to build my house out of anything but glass. But I can elbow grease away stains. Future guests able to see me as I truly am, rather than distorted by streaks, smears, lies of convenience. Homophobia used to be natural for me. I'm not talking hatred of queer community members, just plain ignorance. <coughs> it used to scare me to think of some gay man coming on to me. I did not even like thinking of a lesbian couple in love, regardless of my rotating fantasy preferences. Look, I'm a pretty short guy in my wheelchair, worked with college basketball for 10 years. In locker rooms, I've seen things. I'm not turned on at the sight of male anatomy, I'm straight. Had a resexual not turned on at the idea of male anatomy, I'm straight. Had a resexual working harder and harder to properly portray my lust, my reverence of women. Beautiful gender walking the face of the earth, deserving of respect, flat out earning the right by simply existing. I'm sorry. Men who love other men, I'm sorry. Women who are objectively defined as fucking anything, I'm sorry. You see, I'm sexually frustrated. It stems from being viewed as worthless in that area. You see, I view myself as worthless in that area. I am not worthless in that area. My genitals work. My hormones have been at overly healthy levels for years. My muscles are weak. Down to offering a shoulder for you to cry on. Yes, I've got two, but I cannot hold you for comfort. Filling anyone's animalistic urges terrifies me. Everyone needs their animalistic urges filled. I know firsthand what it feels like to go without. Fuck, I'm sorry. This is not an apology for things I've said here. It's an apology for ways I've thought, ways I've acted. It's been years since I've been firsthand offensive, but those jokes, those statements of fear, they're shameful to me. Hopefully you accept my progression, my evolution, my desire to be a better person, an ally, a friend. Thank you, guys. I will be sitting outside, but my books are on that table. Um, $5 for the chat book, $10 for the thicker book. It was kicked out of Eastern Washington University's classrooms for being too adult after a quarter of resounding. Uh, yeah, so it's got that going for it. Thank you.